In this example, we're going to solve this system with three equations and three unknown values. And we're going to do so by using substitution as the first step. So I see in the third equation, this x variable has a coefficient of 1, and he'll be easily isolated. So let's go ahead and solve the third equation for x. So x equals, so what I'm going to do is take these other two terms, this plus 2y and this minus 6z, and I'm going to move them from the left side to the right side. So the positive 2y becomes a negative 2y. The negative 6z becomes a positive 6z. And this negative 14 is already over there. So I see now that this expression, negative 2y plus 6z minus 14, is equivalent to x. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take this expression, and I'm going to substitute it in to the x's in the first and the second equation. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So negative 2 times x, and x is negative 2y plus 6z minus 14, and the rest of the uh, equation just kind of comes along for the ride. Let's go ahead and distribute and simplify this a bit. So 4y minus 12z minus, uh, plus, say, plus 28 minus 2y plus 4z equals 0. So as I go to combine like terms, I'll see I have a 2y and a minus 8z, and that's going to equal negative 28 when I move that uh, constant from the left to the right. So I see how I have this first equation. Let's go ahead and do that again now to the, uh, the second equation right here. So 5x, and x again is going to be this expression. And then uh, plus 2y, plus 2z, and that equals negative 13. Okay, so let's go ahead once again, distribute and simplify this a bit. So negative 10y plus 30z minus 70, and the rest of that comes along. Okay, so let's go ahead and combine like terms. I have a negative 8y, and then a plus 32z, and that equals, I'm going to push this negative 70 from the left to the right, so I'm going to add 70, so I'm going to have 57. Okay, so now I have this second equation. And what I've done here is uh, I've used this uh, equivalent expression from the third equation, and I substituted it into both the first and the second equations. And kind of in that way, I combine all three of these equations, uh, and I whittle it down from, instead of having a system with three equations and three unknown values, to a system with two equations and two unknown values, just y and z. So let's go ahead and stack these two equations so we can combine these as well. So we're going to say 2y minus 8z equals negative 28, and also negative 8y plus 32z equals 57. Looks like uh, elimination would be a fine choice here. We could also use substitution and solve for y here because it looks like the coefficient is 2, and all these values are also even, um, but let's just go ahead and work it this way. So let's work on eliminating our y's. I notice that 2 and 8, well, if I multiply 2 by 4, I can get 8 and 8, and this will be positive, this will be negative, so I will have opposite signs. So let's go ahead and run that 4 through. So 8y minus 32z, and that's going to equal, let's see, a negative 112. So now when I rewrite the second equation, which has been left unchanged, huh, something interesting here. It looks like my y's cancel, which was by design, but it looks like my z's also cancel. So I have 0 equals, and what it looks like I have here is going to be, what, a 55, and it'll be negative. So, 0 equals negative 55. Well, that doesn't seem to be a true statement at all. So what happened here is that all my variables canceled, and I was left with a false statement. So I know this system is going to have no solution. There will be no points of intersection for all three of these lines simultaneously.